Hi, I'm Charlie, and this is How I Do It. This is Alexis. Hi. She is going to be making guacamole today. I am going to be watching, and then I'll make it a uh, margarita to top it off. So, do you so, remember how to do this? I'm pretty sure we need... Not that yet. Not yet? We need to... We need to cut the avocados. I'll do that, because I'm a responsible adult. I'll take the inside of the avocados. I like the... Yeah. I'm going to take the inside of the avocados and put them in this bowl. Yep, so get the rest of the avocados out. We've set these to um, ripen uh, for a week, right? Uh, well, for a couple days, yes. A couple days. Yeah, because last time we tried... Ooh, this is much easier than last time. Last time it was like chaos. Everybody's a critic. Yeah, that there. Yeah, I'll take care of the trash. So when you cut an avocado, you want to move the avocado, not the knife. And you use the towel in case you either cut through the avocado or miss the avocado altogether. You're uh, hopefully less likely to cut off your hand. This bit doesn't want to come out. There we go. Do you know how to get an avocado pit off of the knife? Uh, no. Okay, well, I'll show you. So once you have cut the avocado, God, it's so hard with the towel. We'll be irresponsible for just a second. So the reason why you use a knife is because it's the easiest way to get the pit out. So you get in the pit and you turn. Now to get it off, a pit's on there real good. So you squeeze your two fingers. Uh -huh. Pops right off. Making a lot of guacamole. Yeah, well, I'm hungry, so. I have a lot of chips too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a This one's almost too ripe, but we'll use it today, and it'll be it'll be good. Just going to take the inside of the other guacamole's out really quick. Did I get in the skin? That's okay. Sure. That's, yep. Okay. Ooh, this one's small. Yeah, and it's, like I said, it's a little and really it's ripe. Cute. It's really ripe. It's really ripe. It's riper than I expected. That came out really easily. Yeah, you got easier than the others. Yeah, and so next. Put, the, put that in the sink, yeah, wash your hands. Yeah. In the sink, wash your hands. I'll cut the limes. How's that? Okay, I'll grab a small container. You, know, you don't need a container, you're going to just put it right onto the. Okay, so. Remember how do you do it? Yep. There you go. Very nice. That's probably good. Probably? Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thank you. You probably need to make sure you're speaking up. No, that that's good. I'm just saying, oh, probably okay. want to make sure yeah. you're you're speaking Speak up, up enough because yeah, there's only one microphone and it's mine. Yeah. So I'm the star of the show. So, all right, get your potato masher. And you can bring that closer to you if you'd like. Yeah. It's really hard to mash like that. 
These are way easier than last time. When you mash, if you mash and twist a little bit, then you get a good chunkiness to it. It's riveting television right now, or internet, YouTube, I don't know. Some of you are watching this on a television, so I guess it is television. a bit more? I think you're good. So just give it a knock off with the fork. Get the, we don't want to lose any of that yummy. Just scrape it off. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Give me that. What's next? Uh, make sure we start adding the onions. We add the salt. Add the salt. All of it in there. That's about a tablespoon of salt. Uh, we add this. Black pepper. Black pepper. It's about a tablespoon as well. Just dump it in there. Now add about half of the onions. Half? Yes, because I cheated. I went to the store and I bought pre-cut onions. Sue me. Yes. You could pick it up and just pour out half of it. It'd probably be easier. Probably would be easier. That should be good. Yeah, a little bit more. Oops. Well, not that one. <laughs> All right, and then take two big pinches of cilantro. Now, if you want your guacamole to be a little bit spicier, like I like it, this is where you would also add about a quarter of a cup or half a cup of jalapenos, but I'm the only one in the house that likes it spicy. Yeah. So we're keeping out the jalapenos this time. That's probably good. I have a, I've had a bad experience with jalapenos. All right, go ahead and mix it up. Your, hand, your hands can be dirty for a second. Just go ahead and mix it up with the fork. Get it all nice and combined. Get around the side. Don't just mix the middle. Yeah, it's kind of like baking cookie dough. Except it's green and, and it's vegetables guacamole. and made out of avocados and not flour and sugar. And just... right, While she's doing that, I'm going to get started on the uh, my favorite part of this, the margarita. So we're going to make this in our shaker. Does this look good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So we're going to take half an ounce of lime juice. It's a nice thing about this, since it's all just the same fruit, we can use the same juicer. While I'm doing this, why don't you get two handfuls, two big handfuls of ice okay. in there. Uh, and a large ice cube? Uh, you can just do two handfuls of ice this time, but good looking out on the big ice cube. That's okay. Yeah. You can clean it up later. Is this enough? That's perfect. So, yeah. okay. half an ounce of lime juice. Gotta make sure this is actually triple sec. I went to make uh, Mary a margarita recently and I bought creme de cacao from the grocery store for a uh, drink I made on uh, Valentine's Day, and unfortunately, it's from the exact same company that makes this triple sec. So it's a nice clear bottle that looks exactly like this, and I just grabbed it and then poured it in and didn't realize until I had added the tequila uh, that I had added chocolate uh, to a margarita. And I said, eh. So I made a double batch, and for the second one, added in the triple sec, and gave it to my wife, who now says it's her favorite margarita. Uh, it's a chocolate orange margarita. So if you'd like, you can double this and go with an ounce of triple sec, an ounce of creme de cacao, 
and four ounces of tequila and make a chocolate margarita. Maybe we'll do that on a on another episode, but not today. I don't think that would go well with guacamole, although I will tell you it does taste very good. Uh, tequila apparently goes very, very good with chocolate, which is odd. I'd have never thought that would work. But it does. So uh, like, like Bob Ross said, there are no mistakes. There are only happy little accidents. So we're gonna give this a shake. And we don't have margarita glasses because we're not that fancy. So we're going to pour this into a coupe. It's a coupe. A coupe. I used to, we have a few coupes and I call them wine glasses. No, I mean, you can put wine in here. Now, there are some people that I work with who will rename, remain nameless who say that uh, it's not a margarita unless there's margarita mix and orange juice and all of this other stuff. And I firmly disagree. Um, also, I firmly disagree in needing to salt the rim. So I never do that. But if you want, obviously, before putting the alcohol in your glass, you can salt it. All right. Why don't you open up the chips? You can taste the guacamole. You cannot taste the margarita. Yeah, now we're going to try the margarita. Yeah, I mean, if you want a margarita, you figure out a way to make your own, but don't use my tequila. Use somebody else's. You need a... Got it? Got it. All right. I wonder if it's better than last time. Last time was good, and it wasn't spicy. There were literally two grocery store jalapenos, which are not spicy at all. How is it? like it more. Yeah, we don't product place because uh, Chocotol does not pay me to be in my YouTube video that only 10 people are ever going to see. So, mm. okay. That's very good guacamole. You did a fantastic job. Yes, I did. And you're so humble. Let's try my margarita now. Ooh. I don't think there are many things that go as well together as a margarita and guacamole. With chips. I mean, the chips are fine, but the chips are a guacamole delivery device. I mean, you could eat this guacamole with a fork and be perfectly happy. Oh. And... Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and there will be no guacamole. There will be a bowl and a fork in the sink. All right, so I'm Charlie. This is how I do it. This is Alexis. This is how she does it. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you have something that you'd like to see uh, me pair next, leave a comment below. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at how I do it nine. You can also find me on Instagram at how.i.doit. Uh, and thanks for watching. Don't See you, you next time. Don't you just hit it when the chip breaks? Yes, and that's why you get bigger chips. <laughs>